Detach, and Attract. Written and published by Ngaslife. In spiritual and self-help contexts, the term detach takes on a distinct meaning from its general definition. When someone with a spiritual perspective advises you to find peace through detachment, they mean freeing yourself from negative beliefs about yourself by disentangling your thoughts and emotions. It could also imply disconnecting or separating, not from people in your life, but from the emotions that hinder your ability to feel comfortable when engaging with them. Is there someone in your life who tends to irritate you or exhaust you just by being in the same room or talking to you? If the answer is affirmative, you might want to consider acquiring the skill of detachment. It's interesting how our negative emotions and thoughts towards someone can actually draw more of what we don't desire. Did you know that according to the law of attraction, our thoughts have an energetic vibration that can attract things to us? Those magnets lack any form of discernment. They just attract similar thought energy vibrations back to you. When you're not feeling your best, it's important to pay attention to the subtle emotions you may be experiencing. This book will teach you how to monitor your energy and thoughts and make adjustments to the intensity of your thoughts using flows. Lesson 1. Connection Between Detachment and Attraction In the vast realm of energy and vibration, our negative thoughts and emotions tend to attract similar energies. Detaching and attracting is a universal truth that applies to many aspects of life. We often come across discussions about the law of attraction, but there is not much emphasis on the significance of learning to let go and detach from outcomes. Many of us tend to have attachments. Many of us tend to have attachments and attract things that are the opposite of what we love or desire. Desires play a crucial role in shaping our personal, emotional, and professional lives. Knowing what we want in our lives is crucial and can greatly impact our overall happiness and fulfillment. However, our happiness stems from embracing the natural ebb and flow of our desires trusting in the vast universe's wisdom to manifest them in our lives. When faced with challenges in life, it can be helpful to slow down and take a moment to reflect on our desires rather than dwelling on our fears. By adopting a more deliberate approach, we can navigate through uncertainty with greater clarity and purpose. This is the power of attachment. The force and anxiety that arises from our fear of not obtaining what we desire Anxiety prevents us from accessing higher vibrations and keeps our energy grounded in the third dimension, embracing the power of letting go and having faith in the universe to manifest our wishes. There are various types of attachments, including emotional, material, ideological, emphatic, supportive, controlling, spiritual, and energetic. They can encompass a wide range of subjects, including objects, people, ideas, or principles. Attachments are a fundamental part of people's lives, as they naturally seek them out. Many people feel that they require these attachments in order to feel supported, validated, and strong, and to achieve a sense of completeness. When connections beneath people's feet are disrupted, they experience suffering. They often find it difficult to adapt to change and fear being left behind. Many people experience fear when faced with the possibility of losing aspects of their identity. When people cling to their insecurities, they deprive themselves of fully embracing and experiencing the richness and depth of life. Instead of appreciating the present, people often become preoccupied with what they might not have in the future. People tend to prefer what they know and the comfort of certainty even if it means sacrificing happiness and abundance. Embracing familiar ideas and relying on traditional beliefs brings them comfort and a sense of stability in their lives. Their minds are filled with panic as they confront the truth. Creating an extra safety zone born out of fear of loss, temporary meet and greets no longer provide the same sense of comfort and joy as people are hesitant to bid farewell. Feeling excited can often lead to feelings of tension and insecurity. They convince themselves that they cannot handle the pain of losing things. It's just too much for them to handle. When people realize that releasing their support can bring relief, they find the strength and support they need from within, from their soul and from love. Fear, logical reasoning, and ego 
no longer play a part in this process. Lesson 2. Attachments can hinder personal growth. It's undeniable that we have numerous attachments in our lives. It's undeniably stunning. Yet simultaneously, these things can have a significant negative impact on us. No matter what it is, most people today are emotionally connected to something they believe they cannot live without. Even the mere thought of sleep being disrupted or changed can quickly turn into stress. Let me clarify, there is a distinct difference between needing something and being attached to it. This message is intended for those who may not recognize this difference within themselves. Our aim is to assist you in achieving a more balanced and stress-free life, where happiness comes naturally. At any given moment, countless people around the world are burdened and exhausted by a harmful attachment. Feeling empty often leads to human suffering, as it creates a sense of need. Unhappiness flourishes when this need is not met. Obtaining the object that captures our attention can bring a fleeting sense of joy that quickly diminishes. Typically, we have a desire or need for the next thing. This creates an ongoing cycle of fleeting moments of happiness, followed by deep periods of sadness. It can be quite exhausting, both mentally and physically, and can have negative effects on one's well-being. When our strings are attached and our wings are clipped, the spirit that drives us forward in life becomes stagnant, hindering our personal growth even more. We're facing significant obstacles. Despite what many people think, being humble is the key to achieving security, whether it's in terms of material possessions or emotional well-being. It can be exhausting and expensive to deal with the overwhelming emotion of anxiety. Humility is an important aspect in emotional therapy programs. It's the key to that graceful charm that eases the pain of our inevitable setbacks and makes disappointment more manageable. Letting go is essential. It means accepting the natural order of things and surrendering without resentment. This kind of resignation acknowledges the existence of a higher power, regardless of one's beliefs or values. People who are unable to let go often become resentful. As we grow older, we come to realize that true strength lies in acceptance and letting go. This realization holds deep emotional and spiritual meaning. Retirement income becomes necessary as one reaches the stage of retirement maturity. It should embrace support from future generations and stay relevant to one's children. This level of emotional maturity will enhance the biological benefits of love and decrease any hesitations in meeting educational and travel responsibilities. Understanding the importance of emotional maturity when it comes to retirement assets can help alleviate the financial burden of security guarantees and disability income. Regardless of when retirement is needed, understanding the financial implications of your sacrifice requires a level-headed approach to calculating probabilities and considering the long-term effects. May those who indulge in worldly pleasures come to realize their folly. Those who have reached maturity will strive to find fulfillment in the physical world by connecting it to their spiritual beliefs. Disconnect and draw towards the way of life that will bid you farewell with a sparkle. Detachment can be a straightforward process, although it may not always be easy. It goes against our natural inclination to have control over everything. It's all about taking the path of least resistance. Detachment involves placing more trust in the universe, or a higher power than in your own ability to control circumstances. Being detached doesn't imply being passive. It requires taking action as well. However, you separate yourself and your actions from any anticipation of chemistry. If you want to achieve anything, it's important to nurture and develop this incredible ability and potential. Visualization is not just an image or a force but a simple and straightforward process. It involves having a desire and then letting go of any expectations for it to come true. This process allows our thoughts and ideas to become a reality. Instead of attempting to anticipate what lies ahead, it is more effective to let the future naturally unfold. We should focus on the present and avoid getting caught up in the future. It is important to keep in mind that when making any request, especially for money, it is crucial to approach the situation with a sense of detachment. 
Lesson 3. Conquering the Fear of Losing Something Have you ever found yourself on the verge of a major change and experienced a deep sense of fear and loss? Is the fear so strong that it has dampened the once enthusiastic anticipation and left you feeling hesitant and uncertain? Same here. Fear can be deceptive, leading us to believe it offers protection when it actually does not. When faced with danger, our minds instinctively respond with survival mechanisms, either to confront or escape the threat. It's not necessary for survival to be afraid of letting go. Its consequences are completely different. Recall the familiar sense of lack that transformed your enthusiastic anticipation into apprehension and hesitancy. The feeling of losing something creates and intensifies a sense of scarcity. Scarcity influences our thinking, leading us to act in ways that may not align with our true intention. It can cause us to make counterintuitive decisions that hinder our progress and distance us from our goals. We make a commitment to our goals and create a clear plan on how working towards these goals will improve our lives. Instead of bringing us closer to the treasure we seek, we observe a relentless desire to possess them obsessively. A mental attachment to a mechanical creature has emerged, and it is fueled by intense passion. The objective drives us to madness. When our desires diminish, we often find ourselves grappling with the fear of losing our way and the obstacles it creates in our lives. Indeed, you have a multitude of experiences to navigate through, work, education, diligence, pressure, exercise, disillusionment, stress, grief, negotiation. All of these are part of life's journey. Your true dwelling lies not in the confines of concrete, but in the freedom of your own motion. Feel free to enjoy a relaxing seaside getaway and indulge in the beautiful surrounding. It's not helpful to have a strong desire for it. Being apart lessens the longing, but it also lessens its intensity. That's correct. Just acknowledge the appeal of the shore and take the leap. As a result, your desire for the car will diminish, and the inn I've reserved will provide the most memorable experience of my life. Experience leads to desire, which in turn fuels positive energy. Certainty adds a confident and commanding vibe to positivity. Lesson 4. Being mindful and aware of the present moment. There is a clear connection between productivity and mindfulness. Being completely present and focused on one task at a time allows us to be fully engaged. Have you ever experienced being in the zone? Being fully present and giving your undivided attention to a task for at least 90 minutes is key to maximizing productivity without feeling mentally drained. Many research studies have shown that being fully engaged is crucial for experiencing peak performance. We are all familiar with, praise the advantages of, and personally witnessed the benefits of mindfulness, including reduced stress levels, clearer thinking, and enhanced focus and memory. Being fully present allows us to transcend the constraints of our surroundings. We have all had moments where we are fully present, completely engaged in the current moment, whether it's with a person or a task. This state is absolutely stunning. When your employees are focused on the present moment and not preoccupied with the past or future, they will find work to be a seamless and enjoyable experience, where time seems to fly by and work feels like play. Lesson 5. Methods to remain focused in the present moment. When you're going about your daily tasks and start worrying about the future, ask yourself if there's anything you can do about it right now. If the answer is no, Remind yourself that it's something for your future self to handle and focus on what you're currently doing. Allow yourself to fully enjoy the present moment. By doing that, you'll often notice that the concerns about future problems and the emotional attachment you have towards them will simply disappear. When you have a strong thought or memory from the past that evokes intense emotions, it's important to remember that you cannot alter what has already happened. Instead of dwelling on it, Consider what you can gain from this memory. Reflect on what you learned, gained, or experienced from that event. Once you have answered that question, carry on with your present task, embracing the fact that you are releasing the emotional weight tied to the memory. 
Picture a connection between your mind and the recipient's computer as you compose an important email. When typing a message, it's important to stay focused on the content rather than worrying about the potential readers or their reactions. It may seem paradoxical, since we are frequently encouraged to consider our audience's point of view when we write. The concept, though, is that directing your attention to the present moment can enhance your persuasiveness with others, allowing for a more authentic connection with the recipient of your email. When you're writing, if your thoughts start drifting to the future or the past, just let them go, like you would in other situations. Imagine the string snapping, observe the thoughts drifting away, and then redirect your attention to the current task. What occurs when you decide to take action? When you consistently focus on and hold on to your desired outcome, how soon can you expect to see results? That's where the bumper sticker proves useful. Surrender and trust in a higher power. Return to the inner space where all your desires are fulfilled. Clear your mind of any thoughts. Utilize your mind as a practical tool. Employing it when necessary and allowing your consciousness to rest when it is not needed. Ultimately, you had no control over how your relationship was affected, as you cannot dictate someone else's desires. Just focus on taking actions that align with your goals. Understanding how being mindful and detached while taking action can lead to opportunities, rather than relying solely on luck, reveals the principle of attracting what aligns with your own being. Being mindful allows you to become more aware of synchronicity, and you'll naturally notice that luck seems to favor those who have a positive mindset. Doing good deeds without expecting anything in return is a wonderful part of life that often brings positive outcomes. Luck is not solely a matter of being prepared. It's like a sense of inner strength, a vibrant energy that flows through you all day when you have a positive outlook on yourself, others, and your actions. When you have a deep understanding of your inner wisdom and are open to both your own thoughts and the input of others, you can tap into a powerful energy that can guide you to the perfect opportunities at the perfect moment. Being mindful of your choices and taking responsibility for them can attract unique opportunities that align with your specific goals and desires. When time seems to slip away while also moving quickly, you've got it right. When another person makes a decision that demands a response, you find it effortless and natural to take action. To achieve your desired outcome in a fulfilling manner, follow the approach of Einstein. Strive for simplicity without compromising on effectiveness. Lesson 6. Recognizing Unhealthy Attachments Addiction can catch you off guard. Identifying the more elusive types of attachment can be challenging, as they often go unnoticed when you're in the early stages of forming or breaking a habit. However, addiction is characterized by a unique and unsettling sensation of unease, dissatisfaction, or reluctance to make a decision or release something. Our minds have a natural aversion to being dictated to. Our minds resist being dictated to. Breaking attachments can be challenging as the mind tends to resist. You may feel some discomfort internally. You may experience a range of emotions, from feeling uneasy about releasing control to wanting to delay making a decision. It's natural to feel uncertain and hesitant and to want to put off facing the choice or event that you're resisting. One way to determine if you have an unhealthy attachment is to pay attention to this feeling. Whenever you delay taking action on your commitments, projects, goals, or decisions, it indicates a resistance to your inner drive caused by an unhealthy addiction. There is a deeper aspect to this than just feeling uncomfortable. You may be experiencing more than just discomfort. It could be your resistance to breaking a habit. It's important to overcome the habit of avoiding making decisions and take action. You are solely responsible for making it happen. You'll notice a sudden surge of creativity, a state of being in the zone, and an increase in happiness both during and after the activity. When there is no clear and measurable way to track progress, training becomes a one-sided lecture. Ensure that your mind aligns with the opening of your heart. Make sure to incorporate the new information and adjustments whenever possible. This will be crucial for your transformation and the shift in behaviors. 
mood, and sensations in your life. Take a moment to reflect on your personal development as you continue to grow. Embrace the opportunity to observe and fully immerse yourself in the transformative journey of life. Here are a few methods you might consider for checking in within a four-week time frame. You may already be experiencing some new physical and emotional sensations that your body is trying to communicate to you. You might experience a tingling sensation in your heart or midsection, or feel a strong connection to the person speaking. You may find that your gut feeling about people is often accurate. You may find yourself coming up with exciting ideas that you're eager to put into action. Unfortunately, you may experience some fatigue, numbness, worry, guilt, or headaches and backache. These feelings usually fade away when we embrace and have faith in the calm and connected sensation in our hearts. During periods of heightened stress, you may notice an increase in your assertiveness and tendency to be domineering. If negative traits are more frequently experienced than the feeling of love, it suggests confusion in the heart's guidance. Take some time to rest and recover until you sense that strong bond once more. Lesson 7. Attachment Patterns in Everyday Situations People often wonder what they should detach or let go of. The answer tends to be consistent. Emotions or behaviors that we experience from attachment. Most of our waking moments are typically driven by our habits of attachment. To better understand attachment habits in people, it is important to first grasp the concept of attachment. When someone forms a strong emotional bond with someone or something, they may exhibit similar signs of attachment as another person does towards someone or something else. Initially, this statement may seem perplexing, but let's pause and grasp the concept that attachment arises from the fear of something or someone else filling an inner void. There are various ways in which this fear can be established. Strong attachments are often formed through the experience of negative emotions such as sorrow, pain, guilt, blame, resentment, or regret. These emotions arise from past experiences of detachment, responsibility, learning, and forming connections. Amidst these experiences of attachment driven by fear, how much control was there over the fear of someone or something else taking up the empty space? Keep in mind that any situation or questions you ask should relate to those motions. Implementing the control factor has become the source of attachment. Understanding detachment involves acknowledging the presence of attachment in various situations, considering how attachment influences our responses before, during, and after those situations, and finding ways to release and move on from it. The filter identifies the attachment. Similar to a lymph node or a magnetic field, it was consistently present whenever a situation arose that involved any of the six emotions. It can be challenging to recognize the attachment in time to consistently respond, given that the input-output aligns with the messages regarding those emotions. As time passed, we linked our daily lives with our beliefs about daily living. Adding to the problem, the more we use certain attachments, like any skill, the more we believe they help us achieve the desired results. This leads to a stronger desire to use the attachments even more and create even better results, which in turn increases our admiration for the attachments. Attachment holds such significance in our lives that it shapes our identity, influences our behavior, and guides us on when to act accordingly. Lesson 8. The Impact of Expectations on Attachment Expectations, as indicated in the emotional guidance scale, serve as our emotional compass to determine if we are in harmony with our true selves or if we are at odds. These indicators help us gauge whether our thoughts align with our inner being or go against it. Our inner knowing assures us that we will receive everything we've requested and it's already on its way to us. When we embrace a more straightforward and relatable perspective, our emotions naturally align with it. We can maintain a positive and joyful outlook, even when faced with challenges. We experience a constant sense of ease and flow in our lives. When our thoughts conflict with our inner being and its understanding, we experience negative emotions like doubt, worry, fear, and discomfort. 
We associate negative thoughts with the belief that things won't go well for us. We often wonder if the things we desire are achievable, probable, or likely to happen. By doing this, our focus changes from knowledge to belief. As we persist in our conviction, it becomes stronger and more defined, and we develop a sense of attachment to it. When we cling to this belief, we experience the burdens of tension, stress, strain, pressure, and struggle. We think that we must do something specific to achieve our desires, and that we must manipulate and force things into place for everything to work out. Unemotional state. When you release your grip, you open your mind to fresh experiences. We all desire greater things in life, such as success, love, happiness, or wealth. Put simply, you desire a chain. But how can you expect to invite something new into your life if you're not willing to let go of your current experiences? You may be hindering your mind from embracing new opportunities due to your current thoughts and expectations. Understanding the process of change involves more than just visualizing and affirming what you want. Many people become frustrated when they are unable to achieve their desired outcomes through the law of attraction or visualization. However, what they fail to realize is the importance of detachment, which is a crucial component. To attract what you desire, it is important to begin by letting go. Begin by letting go. Begin by embracing people for who they are without imposing expectations on their thoughts and emotion. The ego often dictates how others should think and feel, but it's important to let go of these convictions. Detachment represents a shift away from being overly focused on oneself. Releasing what no longer serves you can open up space for new love to enter your life. Shift your mindset and consider your desires. Allowing yourself to enter a receptive state, we can shape our reality based on our beliefs by harnessing the power of our consciousness. The reason we can't fully embrace the present moment or find inner peace is because we become too attached to our current situation. When people mention detachment, it is often misunderstood as treating things with disdain or lacking love. However, detachment actually allows you to appreciate and express your love for things in their true form, without being consumed by obsessions and fears. Much of the energy we use is spent in trying to cling to things. Holding on can leave us feeling tired, weak, and insecure. It can make us feel unempowered and drain our energy as we try harder to hold on. This can happen because sometimes we don't realize or often forget to pay attention to our breathing and how our body is positioned. As we inhale deeply, there is a constant flow of energy and strength that surrounds us and resides within us. We need to recognize the profound trust and support that our breath provides. Lesson 9. Mastering the Art of Letting Go of Expectation Expectations can propel you beyond your own limits, like an arrow being pulled back before being released. Our expectations can act as boundaries, constraining our interactions with the universe. These days, society has developed a mindset that seeks instant solutions and only values what is immediately visible. However, the majority of what is achievable and controllable occurs within the boundaries of our own identity. The possibilities of our creation and the extent of our potential often surpass the confines of space and time. Take a deep breath in and then exhale slowly. Let's begin practicing together right away. Is there something that you find difficult to release? It is something that many of us anticipate to maintain realistic expectations. We worry that if we let go of our expectations, we will continue to live unaware. If this describes you, it's safe to say that we are a blend of both nature and education. Our beliefs shape who we are. We often find ourselves navigating through life without clear guidance on how to detach, let go, trust, and simply be. As a result, we end up creating most of our experiences on our own. We will soon discuss how to establish trust and maintain a smooth process. In order to do so, it is important to have clear expectations and be attentive to signs of alignment. Focus on releasing any expectations and pay attention to how your body responds. Experience the freedom of releasing the need for life 
to adhere to the rules and time constraints you have created. Focus on paying attention to your body rather than your mind. To cleanse past expectations, pay attention to how you react to specific memories. Recall the emotions you experienced during those events. When it comes to releasing expectations of what's to come, pay attention to how your body reacts to that supposed possibility. Just go ahead and check in and experience the natural flow of life. Take note of your change in direction. Lesson 10. Fostering a sense of serenity within. Many people seek ways to find inner peace, often by practicing detachment. We can find a sense of ultimate peace and joy by practicing heart, infused meditation that connects us to a greater sense of oneness. However, our journey goes beyond just seeking inner peace. Life is all about nurturing the soul, finding joy in the process, and discovering our own inner strength through the experiences we encounter. Being open to detachment allows us to fully embrace the joyful journey we naturally gravitate towards. Yet, living a truly fulfilling life also involves being fully present in the moment. When we find ourselves feeling stuck, disillusioned, or trapped, the way of mastery encourages us to break free from the cycle. We achieve this by releasing our attachments to how events should unfold, and by separating the notion of personal suffering from any specific people or past life experiences. We practice stepping off the wheel by being fully present in each moment, simply witnessing it, without letting our controlling thoughts interfere. The way of the Beloved suggests developing an understanding of our authentic self, and subsequently achieving enlightenment. By tapping into your inner self and effectively managing your external circumstances while embracing your masculine energy, you can tap into your limitless potential to transform your life and achieve success. Both are essential for success. Both are of equal importance and are necessary. It's all about finding the right balance. Discovering and living your purpose originates from your mind. It is also the origin from which all the wonders in your life flow. This is how you lead in business. This is the way you sing, play a concert, give a speech, start a business, gain followers, innovate and excel. This is about how you sell, influence, motivate, inspire, and educate others. Take a moment to nurture your mind, allowing it to expand and explore, to imagine and aspire, to embrace a larger perspective on life. Just close your eyes and allow yourself to relax completely as you experience this soothing meditation. It has the ability to promote relaxation and alleviate various levels of emotional distress. Get into a position that feels comfortable whether it's sitting or lying down. Take a moment to close your eyes and inhale deeply, allowing yourself to relax. Just hold it for a few seconds and then exhale slowly and completely. Imagine a serene location, like a lush forest, a picturesque beach at sunset, or a majestic snow-covered mountain, where vibrant flowers in your preferred hue flourish. Take a moment to engage each of your senses and imagine the scene in vivid detail. Notice the vibrant colors, the distinct sounds, and the various textures. Pay attention to whether the air feels warm or cool. Take a deep breath and let yourself unwind as you immerse yourself in the tranquil world of your daydream. Just take a moment to immerse yourself in the serene and stunning surroundings. As you come back to the present moment, gently open your eyes and allow yourself to re-enter your surroundings. Keep hold of the peaceful and relaxed state of mind that you cultivated during the sensory painting meditation. Lesson 11. Inner Peace and Detachment Having a sense of detachment is essential for attracting what you desire. To achieve your deepest desires, it's important to let go of the attachment to them. Ironically, to attract genuine desire, it's important to be in a state of non-desperation and non-neediness simply allowing it to happen. It's important to find a sense of inner strength and tranquility in order to manifest your desires. It's true that power and control can be incredibly tempting for us as humans. However, it is important to understand that finding inner peace and being open to inspiration 
is the key to manifesting our deepest desires effortlessly. This law is fundamental to cosmic magnetism. So, what are the essential elements to sustain this approach without succumbing to the demands of our restless mind? First, focus solely on the stepping stones and consider what you aim to achieve in each situation. This guidance will help us achieve our desires and discover the ways we can use our gifts to spread love and joy. Another aspect is to maintain a state of inner peace that remains unaffected by the chaotic events happening in the world. It involves having a deep understanding and confidence that your actions and expressions are a true reflection of your authentic self and embracing a mindset of abundance that naturally attracts the resources needed for a fulfilling life. By keeping your focus on the bigger picture of joy, you'll gain the perspective to navigate through complex eco-strategies with ease and love. When you have these two states of consciousness, desires naturally flow in and bring joy, enthusiasm, peacefulness, and understanding to everything you do and touch. In this hidden realm, you effortlessly draw in and bring to life all your desires. Lesson 12. Understanding and Managing Emotion a significant portion of our decision-making process is influenced by our emotions. Emotions are not inherently good or bad. What truly matters is how you handle your emotions. People who possess a strong emotional intelligence have the ability to effectively handle their own emotions and accurately perceive the emotions of others. They carefully consider their actions of others. They carefully consider their erosions effectively and are willing to acknowledge their errors. Understanding emotional intelligence involves recognizing the connections between our daily interactions, behaviors, and reactions, which can be both positive and negative. Emotional intelligence at its highest level involves maintaining a sense of detachment. Detach. To remove oneself from a dangerous situation, to have faith in the universe and trust that it will provide for us depending on our beliefs and emotions. When our thoughts and emotions become overwhelming, it's important to find a way to regain control by releasing them. Let go. We can always rely on the endless abundance of the universe. We are the embodiment of our own unique collection of treasures. Life offers no guarantees. It reveals the limited control and uncertainty that exist in the realms of career, fame, and happiness. However, once the fortune departs, approach it with a gentle touch. Treat it with ease and release it. Approach love with a gentle touch. Handle your responsibilities with ease, take things lightly, and be willing to let go. With each inhalation and exhalation, work without feeling overwhelmed, handle authority with care, and be willing to let it go when necessary. Give it your all, with complete sincerity when the two come together. The outcome of life depends solely on the actions taken. If you find yourself on the unfavorable side of the statistical index, take the lessons from it and then move on. There's no need to be upset. You were simply doing the best you could. Detachment is the ability to simply let go and soar in perfect harmony. We push it aside in our daily routines. We strive to simplify. We navigate through our lives with superficial achievements and surround ourselves with numerous authorities. We provide a clear pathway and ensure safety through desire. Ensuring the safety of our lives requires our utmost dedication. We often find ourselves losing more frequently as we try to escape our gains. Every day seems to blur together in a haze of indifference. This is how worry operates within us. Experience freedom. Just let go and be yourself. Embrace your inner freedom, and the world around you will follow suit. Embrace the world with the carefree spirit of a child playing. No need for a specific purpose or complex theories. Fully immerse yourself in the world, experiencing all its ups and downs. By participating in the events of the world, you become a part of something greater than yourself. Find solace in the openness and allow life to unfold naturally. Lesson 13. The Strength in Embracing Acceptance Believing in detachment is incredibly powerful. You will always have what belongs to you. 
There are no boundaries in the universe for you. Accepting what's yours is the essence of detachment. When you consider external factors rather than internal ones, you are directing your attention towards the issue rather than the resolution. By disregarding superficial appearances and delving deeper into the essence of things, one can tap into their innate creative potential. It becomes clear that when you don't feel like you have enough, it hinders your ability to bring about what you desire. Your current perception of reality is shaped by your emotions. Our natural tendency to forget can make it easy to lose sight of the ideal. When we accept what we perceive as real, it's because we feel a sense of lack and tend to focus on things outside of ourselves. You concentrate on what has already been made. When we focus on our desires, we imply the existence of something beyond ourselves, something external that has an impact on us. It's placing trust in something beyond your control. Once you come to the realization that there is nothing beyond yourself, that you are the way, the truth, and the life, you will understand that you can only attract what aligns with your own being. In doing so, you will embrace and accept everyone as they are. The sense of unity indicates that the process of creation has reached its conclusion. All that remains is for you to embrace what you have brought into existence. What do we need to do in order to attract favorable conditions? Just release it. That's all you need to do. So, should I just give up and not bother about the outcome? No way. People often take unnecessary risks in an attempt to attract positive outcomes into their lives. Many people misunderstand this advice as a lack of concern, assuming that everything will magically fall into place without any effort. However, this is not about passively doing nothing. Doing nothing. It just means not having rigid expectations or becoming too attached to a specific desire. When someone is constantly struggling and fighting for what they want, trying to control and force things to happen in a certain way, and becoming rigid in their approach, it actually creates more difficulties in achieving the desired outcome. Detachment involves embracing self-love, honoring your values, and staying true to your authentic self. It means that you are willing to prioritize your own well-being and happiness, even if it means making difficult choices. This includes protecting your own emotional space, even if it means distancing yourself from someone you deeply care about. Many people fear detachment because they worry it will push away their loved one. If something is destined to be yours, it will come to you when you create space for it. If something is not meant to be yours, just let it go and it will naturally drift away. The fear of losing someone stems from the deep desire to have someone to love and cherish. Actually, when we form a connection with someone, we don't actually own or control them. You need to prioritize self-awareness and self-care before you can truly connect with others. Lesson 14. The Difference Between Healthy Boundaries and Codependency In the trauma and healing world, establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries is a constant struggle. This is because there is a prevailing belief that as sensitive and empathetic people, our natural inclination is to care for others. It can be quite challenging when our sense of value is tied to the happiness of others. It seems that we have somehow assumed the burden of others' emotions, both positive and negative. How can we balance our need for love and caring for others without becoming overly responsible or codependent? Now is the moment to differentiate between healthy boundaries and codependency, and to recognize how love, compassion, and the freedom to be of service come to us effortlessly when we have detached, healthy boundaries. These breaches of boundaries occur because we often believe that we are responsible for someone else's reality. It seems that empathy, caring, and love for others have been mistakenly perceived as a means of exerting control over their decisions. We believe we have the expertise to provide most suitable solutions for them. Establishing healthy boundaries for someone else, on the other hand, can easily be perceived as a means of exerting control. We all have different strengths. A mother's love is unquestionable, and we naturally understand that it is for the benefit of a child. However, if we intervene in someone's decision, making process, even with good intentions, we may unintentionally hinder their personal growth. 
Lesson 15. Embracing Love Without Attachment When you decide to love without attachment, peace will follow. When ego and attachment are released, there is a sense of peace and freedom. Struggles. Struggles, stress, and suffering fade away. Life seems to be a constant process of learning to adapt and navigate, much like a jellyfish gracefully flowing through the water. And this is also a smooth experience where you can find tranquility. It doesn't imply that you're not working or that you spend your time lounging on the couch watching TV. It simply means that even when faced with a heavy workload or numerous challenges, you maintain a calm and light-hearted attitude. If you're feeling a lack of peace and joy, it may be because you still have a strong attachment to the thing you're working on or a desire to be something different. When you let go of attachments, you open yourself up to endless possibilities. You get everything. You start to really go with the flow in life. Just sit back, relax, and embrace the art of going with the flow. You have faith, and it continues to be successful. It becomes evident in your own schedule and personal judgment, whether something is suitable for you or not, when you are fulfilling your responsibilities. Life is a continuous journey where you navigate effortlessly and it responds in kind. Lesson 16. Focusing on the process rather than the end result. While it's beneficial to let go of attachment to outcomes, it doesn't mean that one should stop putting in effort and doing what is necessary to achieve those outcomes. Not getting too caught up in the results is just a matter of avoiding regret and unrealistic expectations, which can lead to disappointment. This is not a declaration of lacking the dedication or initiative to achieve results. When we release our attachment to a specific outcome, we can stop worrying about what doesn't happen. It's a simple concept that can bring peace of mind. That's the essence of detachment of outcomes or what. The outcome you would impose on the how is often far removed from the actual possibility. This is a very effective way to cope. If what you're looking for doesn't happen, you won't be overwhelmed by disappointment. Well, you simply shared it without any particular expectations. You trust in the process. Hold on. Did you not have any expectations at all? Yes, you definitely did. At the very least, believing in the universe and living with passion and love is undeniably meaningful. Of course, you're already aware of that. It can feel overwhelming, can't it? Naturally, this process is filled with patterns. Throughout the different stages of life, you'll be amazed by the way the universe guides everything. Do you still not understand? It shouldn't be necessary for me to provide a detailed explanation for everything. Your faith is truly remarkable. Give it a shot. These days, people are so focused on getting results that they often overlook the importance of the process and the quality of the products. Many times, the pleasure of engaging in an activity gets overshadowed. Some people find that achieving their desired outcome is not the only thing that matters. The satisfaction derived from the process itself can be the determining factor between success and failure. Many people realize too late that the end results and the final product are not fulfilling when the process of creating them lacks creativity and genuine satisfaction from the work itself. By focusing our minds on the task at hand and giving it our full attention, we can combat the plateauing of skills that often leads to decreased satisfaction. When we push ourselves, regardless of our perceived abilities, it directly impacts our potential for achievement. Our thinking plays a crucial role in this creative endeavor. No matter the project or how it is done, what truly matters is the thought behind it. First, we become unnoticed, subtle and pure. We move swiftly and precisely, reaching even the smallest niches with our gentle influence, much like water flowing through the branching arteries of a plant. We consider ourselves likable because our current and water movements are very gentle. We prioritize focusing on our sources of income, our job, friends and family that lie ahead rather than dwelling on hurts and things we don't want. As a result, our initial pains become less significant, no matter how shocking or undesirable they may be. This allows us to feel grateful and succeed while others are overwhelmed by their increasing misery. 
Surrender is an ongoing process that is constantly evolving. Life is full of challenges that can make us want to resist, complain, or seek change out of fear. Jobs, relationships, and self-composure are no exception. They will arrive in a deceptive manner, as there is always a chance to grow and adjust to life amidst the presence of negativity. When we learn to accept what we cannot change and embrace what we can, our troubles can find resolution through detachment and our growth can be transformative through acceptance. Lesson 17. Embracing Life's Natural Rhythm When you release your grip, everything naturally comes to you. When you let go of trying to control everything around you, you open yourself up to attracting and embracing incredible opportunities. By constantly trying to control every aspect of your life and going against the natural flow, you prevent yourself from embracing your true self and experiencing positive outcomes. Instead, try to focus on cultivating positive thoughts, emotions, and actions, and you'll find that things become much simpler and easier to understand. When you let go of trying to control everything around you, you open yourself up to attracting and embracing incredible opportunities. When you live in the present moment, you become aware of the opportunities, resources, and support that are available to guide you along your path. When you let go of fear and stop resisting things you can't control, you naturally attract positive experiences and people into your life. Embracing the natural rhythm of life involves being present, managing your thoughts, and responding to the world around you with confidence and effectiveness. By adopting this perspective, you can effortlessly attract love, success, improvement, and happiness into your life. One of the fundamental principles of life is that things tend to work out when we learn to let go and allow them to unfold naturally. Some of the most memorable moments in life occur when we simply let go and embrace them as they come. We engage in the setup of large model airplanes, squeeze ourselves into business attire that barely contains our bodies, diligently take notes until our heads ache, and risk reprimand from our superiors if we are not punctually seated for meetings at the country club. We engage in various forms of labor to afford our meals and muster excitement for our upcoming tennis matches during our six days of rest. And then we repeat this cycle for another six working days. Simply because we did not do it today or yesterday or in the past two weeks or the last nine months. When we allow things to come to us, there is no pushback. Everything comes to the one who releases their grasp, suggests the Spanish author Calderon. We are connected to the earth, both physically and spiritually. Understanding and embracing this concept brings a sense of security, allowing us to let go, be ourselves, and fully enjoy the present moment. Very few people are able to hold on to their accomplishments, and love is rarely enough to keep a structure intact. Things come and go, circumstances change, and familiar faces vanish. When we embrace this perspective, we find a sense of tranquility and contentment. When the motive for struggle and conflict is removed, animosity comes to an end. Lesson 18. Letting go of material possessions. When you release your possessions, everything will naturally come to you. In essence, one is releasing the longing for the thing to manifest in one's life. To achieve your desires, whether it's finding your ideal partner strengthening friendships, attaining harmony, or becoming wealthy, it's important to have a strong desire without being too attached to the outcome. This mindset is crucial for making things happen. Consider the depth of human nature and its inherent truths. Whenever we have hopes or desires, it's natural to become attached to the outcome we want. What leads to this innate tendency for desire and, consequently, attachment? Our past experiences and ego play a significant role. From the moment we begin to crave something, our innocence is quickly lost, leaving us tainted. When we have a desire, we often find ourselves wondering, what if I don't get what I want? This thought can lead to becoming attached to the outcome we desire. When we have hopes and desires, there is often a fear that we may not achieve what we want. When we think about our ex being with someone else, we may hope for a reconciliation. 
Or perhaps we wonder if we can get a discount at a store. Some of us even dream of making enough money to never work again. These thoughts can create resistance to the universal energy. Resistance can manifest as doubt, expectations, or fear. That's the reason why we don't receive that one dollar million annually. You truly need to experience the benefits of minimalism to fully grasp their significance. However, minimalism is not difficult to grasp and encourages the development of the ongoing process. One can appreciate the advantages of minimalism, such as having more time, saving money, and reducing worry. However, these benefits may not always justify the effort and commitment required to embark on the path towards a more fulfilling and mindful life. When we explore minimalism, these advantages can be experienced sooner and may seem more significant initially. When we simplify our lives, embrace minimalism, and focus on what truly matters, the positive effects of these choices and actions build upon each other, creating a powerful momentum. You receive more when you remove. Let go of any lingering grudges, anger, or disappointment from the past. It's truly remarkable how we tend to hold on to so many negative emotions and awkward experiences. Not being able to move on from a negative past can make the present unbearable and hinder our future. Holding on to the past can cause significant distress in our lives. It's similar to suffocating yourself. It would be helpful to release any past negative thoughts. What a pointless use of time it is, anyway. Think about this. Has anyone compensated you for keeping it with you for long periods of time, ranging from hours to years? Why let certain past events control your present? What purpose do those thoughts serve besides ruining this moment and causing uncertainty for the future? Lesson nineteen: Making room for fresh encounters. When you hold on to past emotional baggage, it disrupts the natural flow. You become a conduit for new and improved experiences to come your way. When confronted with future painful moments, we often resist the change that accompanies them in order to avoid further suffering. However, the more you resist or become attached to something or someone, the more negative you will feel. Then, the next moment that arises seems even more painful. Some people cling to situations because they are afraid of what lies ahead, whether that understanding stems from previous encounters or anxious thoughts. It traps people in a cycle of constantly pursuing what they believe they should, could, or must possess. Being overly focused on the future prevents people from fully experiencing the present moment. They don't perceive their existence, but rather feel fear, need, or desire for the specific moment they were focused on. Put simply. You're so fixated on a future moment that hasn't arrived yet that you're unable to fully experience or appreciate the present moment. Right now, your resistance, suffering, or desire for the future moment is getting in the way of the present. However, you may argue that this moment will bring us happiness. Is it going to happen? Why aren't you feeling happy in your current situation? By recognizing and eliminating what is lacking. You can ultimately achieve a state of tranquil contentment without any desires. Once you let go of the need for something, you'll notice that it naturally comes to you. When you shift your focus away from acquiring material possessions like cars, houses, and money, they will naturally come to you. What is the reason? You no longer emit negative energy, but instead you become an attractor. Life's true fulfillment lies not at the end of a lengthy journey. But within the journey itself, all we truly desire is a content and gratifying existence. Focus on positive aspirations that will enhance your life, and remember that gratitude can greatly improve your outlook on life. Releasing desire is the key. It's like constantly desiring money, but only receiving small amounts. When we shift our perspective and adopt the belief that we will always have a steady supply of what we require, the money starts to flow in. So when we feel like we're lacking something, our mind doesn't see a fancy car or even a bag of chips as important. Creating a calm and peaceful environment allows us to let go of what's holding us back, leading to positive outcomes and attracting beneficial people and things. Life is transient and cannot be held onto. Instead. 
we allow the wonders of the world to come to us. Lesson 20. Letting go of negative thoughts about oneself. One of the most remarkable things that happens consistently is when a person is able to truly see themselves as they are, without even having to ask. It feels like the universe is challenging us to strive for greatness. However, our own self-doubts and limited understanding of how everything is connected often hinder our progress. These limiting beliefs are often used to justify different conditions, determining one's value, capabilities, and ability to handle things. These three areas greatly influence the quality of life one experiences. Many people often find themselves stuck in a cycle of repetitive experiences that fall short of their full potential. You'll uncover your innate ability to thrive. You'll feel a sense of lightness, confidence, and above all, abundant joy. You will attract all the things that bring you joy and happiness. Understanding doesn't come from simply acquiring more information. It's all about releasing in order to achieve a sense of lightness. Releasing any thoughts, beliefs, behaviors, pain, negativity, or scarcity that may be holding you back. These attitudes are outdated. They're similar to bulky garments that don't provide warmth or protection. Get rid of them. Display your beauty, strength, and power. Embrace the bountiful rays of abundance that flow into your life, filling your being with warmth and positivity. The wealth and success you achieve will not come from material possessions or imaginary riches, but from your personal growth, spiritual evolution, and passion for life. You will experience an abundance of positive outcomes, including financial gains, happiness, peace of mind, inner strength, fulfilling connections, and unexpected opportunities. It will come naturally and seamlessly, becoming a part of you. Self-revelation is a powerful way to showcase authenticity, sincerity, heart, talent, and courage. And suddenly, you'll find success, good health, happiness, and financial abundance waiting for you in the morning. From now on, your life will no longer be separated into different categories like work and personal, spiritual, or material aspects. Everything will come together, find harmony, and rely on each other. Discovering the true essence of your being. You will naturally connect with people and situations that align with who you are and share your objectives and intention. You can achieve your dreams, including the ones you recently embraced or may have overlooked. Lesson 21. The Law of Attraction and Detachment. It can be challenging to attract what you desire when you become overly fixated on it preventing the natural flow. It's important to release and move on. Let me clarify something that may ease your concerns about the word detach. While there is a lot of information about detaching from your desired outcome, there is also something that contradicts some of the previous ideas. By the time you've released yourself from something, anything, what have you learned? Instead of your desired item disappearing when you looked away, it actually came to you. Maybe detach and attract was a bit exaggerated. The proper sequence in influencing and perhaps in life as well is to let go and flow. You can achieve anything you desire by releasing it and allowing it to come to you naturally. Let me elaborate. Just imagine closing your eyes and picturing something small, like a safety pin. It doesn't have to be anything significant, maybe even a gold one, to add a touch of extravagance to our thoughts. Picture the safety pin resting all the way across the room. Just release it. The law of attraction, which involves attracting people and events into your life, is indeed effective. However, to optimize its effectiveness for you, you may need to slightly adjust your focus away from the term attract, release, or if you'd rather, relinquish. It's important to remember that you have control over the influences in your life. When you reach out to others for support and ideas, you might be pleasantly surprised by the people who can offer valuable insights. Recognizing that talent cannot be transplanted and desire cannot be taught in the same way as creating in a scriptural sense, it is important not to attract things solely to suit your desires. Instead, pay attention when a story advises you to form friendships for reasons 
that go beyond your own self-interest. Then, follow those guidelines and let things come naturally to you. When Roland begins with roses, the program then incorporates silk, leaves, and a rich history spanning over a century. Similarly, maintaining a sense of detachment while anticipating can be crucial for realizing your dreams. And this holds true regardless of whether we're discussing the power of influence or the exhilarating uncertainty that comes with embarking on any new endeavor. Thank you. When we constantly chase after our desires and become obsessed with them, we actually push them away from us. This is how the universe functions. Resisting anything in life only leads to more difficulties. The key to achieving great success in all aspects of life is to understand the importance of letting go. Once we embrace this concept, we can experience a profound shift in our prosperity consciousness. Put simply, we become creators once we let go of our desires. When you come to the realization that your thoughts and beliefs shape your physical experience, you start to grasp the importance of being open and attentive. It's not you who needs to put in more effort toward your desires, but rather the higher power you believe in. Relax and allow others to pave the way while we concentrate on recognizing the clues and opportunities that will naturally arise. Lesson 22 Aligning with your desires without becoming attached When you are in tune with yourself and have complete faith in the universe, and when you embrace your journey with happiness, you will effortlessly attract everything you desire. You won't have to struggle to hold on to people or deal with bothersome emotions, like trying to grasp the wind. You won't have to search for them, as you'll be confident in your ability to draw them towards you. Rest assured, the powerful magnet within you will sense that your desires are on their way, allowing you to remain calm and free from any anxious energy. When you resist or obsess over something, pushing for it to happen immediately and giving it too much of your energy, you actually create resistance and slow down the process. You won't achieve your desired outcome if... That's precisely the message you're sending out to the universe. It's important to be aware of the specific energy you emit. If you don't recognize it, you may overlook your own decision. You can't escape its presence. It's everywhere you look. In today's world, there seems to be a growing recognition of the importance of cooperation and communication in maintaining a sense of order and harmony, flowing. They even have T-shirts available, well on its way up the evolutionary ladder. At first, it may seem strange to think that stepping back from a person or situation can actually bring them closer to us and improve our relationship. However, this idea is rooted in the belief that everything is connected and has a divine origin. In the context of relationships, it suggests that they never truly disappear. Detachment expresses a deep love that allows you to pursue your purpose freely and wholeheartedly. Guarded closeness, on the other hand, arises from fear and does not embody the essence of true love. Love often attaches itself to a person with a sticky message. You can't be okay without me. You depend on me. However, love becomes bitter when the person it has restricted and pressured from the beginning decides to leave. Surrendering completely requires immense confidence to release control and allow others to follow their own path. It is a testament to the deep contentment within oneself, where the love that one embodies remains unaffected by notions of freedom or bondage. The universe tends to favor those who have the courage to trust and let go, embracing a life of freedom. Clutching and controlling obstacles can hinder divine guidance, which naturally flows without any hindrance. Our subconscious mind functions as a receiver rather than a doer. It responds to the energy that flows within us, attracting circumstances, opportunities, and people into our lives. When we are relaxed and content, things tend to flow more smoothly in our lives. True wisdom is straightforward and light. It has a light, heartfelt, and free quality to it. Spirituality can be engaging, energizing, and accessible. Authentic spirituality is vibrant and ever. Evolving, it's all about reaching your maximum potential. It's all about utilizing the valuable moments we have during our time on Earth. When you are fully connected to your inner self, 
you are able to approach life with bravery, ingenuity, and a selfless attitude. When people observe you, they gain insight into their own capabilities. It's about bravely venturing beyond your comfort zone, breaking free from familiar routines. Spirituality revolves around having faith and finding contentment within oneself. You can effortlessly maintain a sense of calm and harmony within yourself, which allows you to navigate your external surroundings with ease. You embrace a state of blissful surrender. Guiding you on a journey of spiritual growth, this process helps you navigate the complexities of being human with a positive, creative, and inspired perspective. Yourself. Esteem reflects your inner strength and wisdom. By embracing a mindset focused on miracles, there are endless possibilities. By stepping outside of your comfort zone, you break free from repetitive patterns and allow yourself to embrace the boundless journey of spiritual development. These are the moments that make life worth living, the moments that you put in effort for. What is our purpose on this planet? Why do we put so much effort into our existence? Just to juggle all those different aspects of life and keep pushing forward? No way. It's all about achieving your desires for love, happiness, serenity, and motivation. Lesson 23. Finding the right balance between ambition and detachment. From my understanding, it seems that it's important to let the universe work its magic and bring us what we desire rather than trying to control everything ourselves. By embracing a more intuitive approach, we can more effectively discover the opportunities we desire. It can be quite impactful to release control, even if it's just a little, and observe the outcome. However, it's important to note that this doesn't imply being passive and taking no action. We need to take action and create opportunities that will allow the universe to provide us with these gifts. However, it's important to release our attachment to desired outcomes and timelines to allow the universe to breathe and lead us along the path that is best suited for us. Our world is constantly moving, driven by the idea that we must take charge and make things happen. Taking action is essential because it leads to results. However, discover a method to harness the power of the universe and reach even greater heights. By harnessing the power of the universe, we can release our need for constant control and vigilance. Whether we achieve our goals or fall short, it becomes less significant. Through some kind of higher power, we will achieve all of our desires. And then the universe provides an extraordinary way to handle challenges or obstacles that come our way. By not relying on the result, we can navigate through various paths and transform unexpected situations into something beyond our imagination. Lesson 24. Practicing Gratitude and Detachment Expressing gratitude is a simple yet powerful act that holds great significance. It enables opportunities, facilitates extraordinary events, and assists people in learning how to let go. When a person expresses gratitude, they create a positive environment that attracts more things to be thankful for and increases abundance in all aspects of their life. When people learn to embrace gratitude, they will experience an abundance of joy, beauty, fun, and and pleasure. They will also find that their needs are effortlessly fulfilled. Through the simple act of acknowledging that every experience has a hidden origin, man can start to recognize the presence of God in his life and feel supported throughout the day. Detach means disconnect from everything. How? It means having the understanding that, as Einstein once said, humans don't necessarily need to comprehend the details of how when, or where, because there is a higher power that does, we should simply learn to let go. By expressing gratitude for every experience, action, and emotion, throughout the day, a person demonstrates their appreciation and trust in the Creator's care and guidance. When we learn to release and appreciate the blessings in our lives, allowing a higher power to guide us, we open ourselves up to greater abundance in every aspect of life. Starting with gratitude is a wonderful way to begin. Take a moment to appreciate all the good things in your life, no matter how small. Doing so will help you maintain a positive mindset and feel grateful. These words all describe the same energy. 
Gratitude is like a bridge that helps us surrender and let go. In every challenge and opportunity, it is important to prioritize your well-being, remain flexible, and have trust in yourself. Get ready for the unexpected because amazing things are headed your direction. In addition, various people are advising you to move on or set free. Releasing fears and negative energies up to the divine in prayer is a powerful way to tap into the flow of energy. Prayer is a refreshing and invigorating experience. Through prayer, you can release all your fears and worries, allowing them to dissipate into the vastness of the universe without any concerns of being rejected or judged. Connect with the divine energy. Express your request or intention. Have faith in the outcome. And take a deep breath. It not only boosts your energy, but also aids in stabilizing and rejuvenating it. Prayer helps you let go of the need to control everything and allows you to focus on your day until you receive guidance on what actions to take. The concept of abundance mindset is frequently misused and misunderstood. It's not just about the physical actions you take, but also about the mindset you have. It's all about how your beliefs, values, and thoughts revolve around attracting abundance instead of scarcity. It is indeed straightforward, but practicing it can be quite challenging. How can an average individual in this universe of guaranteed lottery winnings consistently reveal their true self each day? Why is it so challenging to consistently implement these practices? And, most importantly, should everyone adopt this mindset from the beginning? They face challenges because they clash with our typical way of surviving as humans. Our brain's ancient section still operates and reasons in a manner similar to our primitive ancestors. Its sole focus is on survival, with every thought and instinct geared towards ensuring its continued existence. It's important to ensure that we have an adequate supply of firewood and food. It shows no concern for the well-being of our world or the future of our descendants. When we think about abundance, it can sometimes feel unclear if it's not pursued with a clear purpose in mind. We might wonder what exactly it is good for. It has a wide range of uses. Most people desire abundance in order to lead more fulfilling lives. Traveling allows us to explore diverse cultures, enjoy a comfortable lifestyle, and provide a quality education for ourselves and our children. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but it's important to remember that the journey towards abundance is what truly matters, not just the end result. We desire abundance in order to make a positive impact on others, whether it be by reducing poverty or creating a better environment through our efforts. The way we handle abundance holds greater significance than simply acquiring it. Lesson 25 Incorporating Detachment into Your Everyday Routine Feeling Frustrated with a Specific Issue? Need some help? Would you like to experience a calm and serene existence, surrounded by caring companions, and free from burdensome or monotonous tasks? No matter what your circumstances are, you have the ability to live life in that manner. It is actually our destiny, as it is the purpose of our earthly existence, to learn how to let go of the tensions that throw off our mind and body balance. We should learn to not hold on to problems and disappointments, but instead release them. This way, we can realize our connection with God, who is the source and essence of everything. Anyone can easily learn this straightforward approach to living with regular practice. Success requires a deep sense of frustration and inner discontent that drives you to discover your true self. To achieve lasting fulfillment, there is no need to acquire anything. You are already fulfilled, although you may not realize it. This is because you constantly listen to and act upon the conditioned belief that urges you to rely on others for your needs and accumulate material possessions. From this point of view, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. All things break down over time. Anything can experience a breakdown. Life becomes a thrilling adventure when we acknowledge our role as the driving force behind the creation and shaping of our own experiences. By staying open to the ever-changing flow of energy, we can embrace the spontaneity and excitement that comes with it.
Life management is all about effectively dealing with the things that come our way and finding the best approach to handle them. Life becomes full of possibilities when we learn to manage it effectively. Most people are familiar with the saying, if you love something, let it go, and if it comes back, it's really yours. It can be quite frustrating, right? That is indeed correct. That is indeed correct. It's the energy of detachment, which may seem ironic to our logical mind. Yet, by embracing the act of surrender, we unlock the power to overcome obstacles and invite a stream of positivity into our lives. What is the outcome? Everything we desire and want effortlessly comes into our life, without any struggle or force. It's how life becomes instinctive. If you're facing challenges in your life, the feedback is important. Take a moment to look within and discover the incredible well-being that is waiting for you right now. It's the reason you entered this world, to fully embrace life and cultivate greater experiences, improved well-being, deeper connections, increased prosperity, more joy and pleasure, simply an overall increase in everything. Just relax, release any resistance, take a moment to pause, and fully embrace the life you've always wanted. There are no errors in the design of life. Final lesson. Detach and attract. As we wrap up our exploration of the principles of detachment and attraction, it's important to keep in mind that genuine fulfillment doesn't come from holding on to specific outcomes, but rather from embracing the natural rhythm of life with open acceptance. Through the practice of releasing attachments, you have discovered a profound key to experiencing a life filled with abundance, joy, and serenity. At first, the path of detachment may seem a bit counterintuitive. However, as you incorporate these lessons into your daily life, you'll notice a natural alignment with the rhythm of the universe. When you let go of expectations and have faith in the process, amazing opportunities and experiences will come into your life effortlessly. Detachment does not involve apathy or disengagement. It's all about developing a profound sense of inner peace and trust that enables you to fully engage in life without being overwhelmed by attachments, fears, or the desire to control every result. It's all about finding the right balance between taking action and trusting in the universe's wisdom. As you progress, keep practicing gratitude, mindfulness, and the skill of releasing attachments. Embrace every moment with an open heart and a willingness to learn and develop. Have faith that when you let go of expectations and embrace your authentic self, you are creating the conditions for a life that is rich in blessings, love, and deep fulfillment. Everything you're looking for is already inside of you. When you let go of seeking approval from others and tap into your own intuition, you become a strong attractor for everything you want. Every day brings new chances for you to experience the power of detachment and attraction and see the incredible changes it can bring to your life. Move forward with assurance, understanding that as you become skilled in the practice of letting go, you create the opportunity to manifest a life that exceeds your greatest aspirations. Just open yourself up to the universe and let it surprise and delight you. It's all about letting go and allowing it to happen.